Marriage is all those things. And marriage is like oatmeal. It's a great analogy. It sustains you. They're so awkwardly, so perfect for each other. We don't cover a lot of gay couples here. That's because there's not a lot of gay couples in pop culture. It's getting better. We're gonna start with Captain Holt and Kevin from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I love this couple. They're so much fun. And they're so unique in their relationship. Every relationship is different, not even just based on sexuality, but based on personality. And what I love about Kevin and Captain Holt is the uniqueness of their relationship is not that they're gay, it's that they're them. <laughs> Why are you upset with me? Your employees are the ones putting a damper on the party. They are acting terribly. You're the one who's been acting terribly tonight. You've been curt and snobby with my guests. You've been needling poor Peralta so much you practically made him a new suit. Needled him a new suit. Even when we're fighting, you're hilarious. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hello again, Professor Kevin Cosner. What do you want? I'd like to tell you about a case I solved. Thank you, but just as with my home, my office has a strict no cop talk policy. I figured, but the case that I've solved is the case of the no cop talk policy. There were three things that bothered me about last night. You didn't want the 9-9 at your party, even though you'd never met us. Your friends immediately asked Hitchcock and Scully if they were harassed. And there was something interesting about that photo in your library. You and the captain were shunted off to the side. I don't think you dislike cop talk. I think you dislike cops. <laughs> I'm married to one. I know. And I can't imagine it's been fun watching the man you love marginalized, underappreciated, and disrespected by the NYPD. Because he's gay, Raymond has been put through hell by his colleagues, many of whom, quite frankly, look exactly like you. Devastatingly handsome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm uncomfortable with emotions. So yes, I decided a long time ago that just because I love Raymond doesn't mean I have to love the people he works with. Good solve, detective. Nice cop lingo. Look, I'm really sorry that we ruined your party. I'd like to make it up to you. Captain, thank you for joining us. What's going on? A proper birthday dinner. Amy chose the restaurant. Captain. Oh, perfect. I've always wanted to come here. Boyle, pick the menu. There's something true about with LGBT relationships, they have all of the struggles and obstacles of heterosexual relationships, personality differences, what have you. But there's also the shadow of persecution and of prejudice and bigotry where you can't just live your life together. You have to deal with everyone else's BS. Good heavens. This isn't ours. And my contribution will be to refrain from discussing The New Yorker for the rest of my living days. Thank you, Jake. You're welcome, Kevin. Call me Kev. Oh. Right. Oh, he told you to say that, didn't he? Well, you are always playing pranks on me, Raymond. Just once, let me be the funny one. <sighs> and finally, <laughs> it is my great pleasure to introduce the 99 Zone Detective Scully to serenade you. Mona tu sola, che bello ogni, o sola mio, sam from te. This part always gets me. O sola, o sola mio. So Kevin and Captain Holt, Raymond Holt, they're both very dry. Anniversary with Kevin. I'd like to cook him an impressive breakfast. Could you help orient me with that process? I'd be honored. Preparing food for one's lover is the most intimate gift of all. Aside from washing their hair. Okay, well you hear that sizzle? <laughs> that means the heat is a little too high on those eggs. Well, the, the higher the heat, the faster the eggs cook, the sooner Kevin eats. Am I incorrect? No, you make an excellent point, but we don't want to feed Kevin burned garbage. Good morning, Boyle. Oh, good morning, Kevin Holt. After our disagreement yesterday, I went online to read your culinary blogs and scoff. To my dismay, I actually learned something about how food tells a story. So I made Kevin this. It's warm. It's a croque monsieur. Kevin and I shared one on a rainy afternoon in Paris on our first anniversary. It's one of our most treasured memories. I'm sure it's not up to your standards, but Kevin seemed to enjoy it. So thank you for your guidance. Food does tell a story. That's how Alicia and I bond. We're foodies. I'm Kevin Ward. But I tried. And what a story for Kevin. I don't care for it, but I tried. Such an important part of a healthy relationship is trying new things because your partner wants you to, or because your partner wants to do it and they want your company, they want to share it together. Alicia once went with me to see Raiders of the Lost Ark at a movie theater for a anniversary screening. It was not her cup of tea, but it meant the world to me that she came. In a healthy relationship, you can't just be about you. 
In our marriage, I wasn't super interested in world travel. I'm more of a stay put type of person, but I tried it for Alicia. And turns out I developed a taste for it. And now it's one of our favorite things to do together is to go places and to experience what the world has to offer. Being close to things because they're not your cup of tea and dismissing them out of hand can keep you from growing as a couple and can even lead to you growing apart. Question is, could something have happened at home before he left for work? Well, I remember that morning. He left this house at seven and was in a great mood. In fact, he was still chuckling about the previous night's Charlie Rose. Fine, so your marriage might not be the problem. Well, <laughs> this is where Raymond eats breakfast every morning. Yes, I know, he's always raving about how they don't have specials. Diane, hello. This is my friend Gina, and this is Detective Peralta. They work with my Raymond. Are you sure we're talking about last Wednesday? Positive. I haven't seen him since. You haven't? Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I need to leave. Excuse me? Kevin, Kev, what's going on? Raymond has been lying to me. Three mornings this week, he told me he was fencing with Dan. Why would he do that? Why would he lie to me? I don't know. Maybe it's connected to his bad mood. My husband does not lie to me. This investigation of yours was a bad idea. I'm going home. I have to sort this out with Raymond. Why would you keep this from me? And why would you lie about going to fencing? Because he couldn't go. Because he's injured. I wasn't injured. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? Lightly. Stabbed. I didn't want to frighten you. <sighs> you are my husband. I want you to tell me everything, especially things that might frighten me. How can you not know that? Lying is a natural human behavior. It's instinctive. We lie to protect ourselves. We lie to keep ourselves from getting into trouble. We lie to not hurt the people that we care about. We lie for a thousand reasons. And for a lot of people, it's a knee-jerk reaction. Yet for a relationship to last, there has to be honesty. There has to be transparency. There has to be trust. And that is a hard thing. Not just opening up, but showing your partner that you are safe to open up too. That when they tell you things you don't want to hear, things that are unpleasant, things that you disapprove of, that you're going to value their honesty first and foremost. You can reserve the right to be hurt and even upset, but you're not going to punish your spouse for telling the truth. In my marriage, what brings us closest together is being able to talk about anything and trust that our partner's gonna handle it well. If you need help handling things, if you need help handling unpleasant news, or your partner wanting something different, or receiving feedback and criticism, there is help available to you. You can schedule a complimentary 15 minute consultation with a member of our therapeutic team. There's a link in the description for that. You wanna know why I was so angry all week? When those men came at me, I acted like I was a 20 year old. I took a stupid risk and I got myself stabbed. I was in pain and frustrated about lying to the men I love. Kevin. Yes, obviously Kevin. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> what did the officials say when you got married? Not much. When gay marriage was legalized, we weren't sure if or when it was going to be struck down, so speed was of the essence. And do you, Kevin? Yes. And do you? Yes, yes, we do. We're married. <laughs> I remarked afterwards that I wish the O-ficient had been more efficient. <laughs> it was very funny. Kevin still talks about it. <laughs> marriage is a contract. But it's so much more than that. Marriage is love. It's commitment, it's joy, it's understanding, it's patience, it's anger, it's reconciliation, it's everything. It's like oatmeal. It sustains you. Darlene, do you take Lynn to be It's actually a really good speech. I don't have any notes on that, that's perfect. Do you take Darlene to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Yeah, marriage is all those things, and marriage is like oatmeal. It's a great analogy. It sustains you. I gotta hand it to you, Captain. That was some ceremony. If done it right. Wasn't difficult. I simply said what I wish had been said when Kevin and I got married. Oh, well, then I never would have heard your hilarious efficient efficient quip. Mm, you're right. I regret nothing. <laughs> but all this does make me think I might enjoy a more festive expression of our commitment to one another. Are you suggesting we hold an honest to goodness wedding? Nothing too elaborate. We're not the Kardashian Wests, after all. They are a musician and a celebrity personality who recently wedded. Yes, yes, I know. They were answers on Jeopardy. I think you mean questions. <laughs> <laughs> They're so awkwardly, so perfect for each other. Ready to go to dinner? Yes, but I have some unfortunate news about our pie. It was thrown away. No. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And I know who did it. 
Who? You all bragged about your Thanksgiving plans. Why? You were overcompensating, trying to cover up your dark secrets. But there was one other person who was also overcompensating. You, Kevin. Even better than a plain scone. Plain scone. Plain scone. I should have known you were lying. There's nothing better than a plain scone. This is ridiculous. Is it? Of how the pie was disposed of. Placed gently with two hands inside the bin. That's exactly how you always throw away garbage. It is? There's only one thing I still can't figure out. Why'd you do it? Because it's disgusting. Oh, my. That pie is an abomination. <laughs> it has beef suet and apple seeds in it. Why? It's a walnut pie. If we brought that to my family's house, they would have said something. I was trying to protect you. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? <sighs> because I love our annual trips to Saratoga Springs. The two of us driving in silence, looking at the barren trees, it's perfect. I, <laughs> I didn't want to lose that. I'm sorry. I don't know why we can't still make the drive next year. We just don't have to buy the pie. A trip with no purpose? <laughs> Raymond. So, Peralta, what do you have to say for yourself? The whole NYPD knows where you are, and they're coming for you right now. OK, thanks for the tip. Let's kill them both, get out of here before the cops come. Wait, no, 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 no. I was lying about the backup. I came alone, titled by sex tape. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're both going to die now. Better get some corticosteroids to treat that laryngeal fracture. Sorry, I couldn't bring myself to call him a dirt bag. And why would you? A dirt bag is a very useful part of the vacuum cleaner. Clearly, it's a compliment. Oh, you guys are so perfect for each other. <laughs> They really are perfect for each other. I often say that compatibility is not the same thing as sameness. Uh, it means how well do you go together, but in some cases, sameness is perfection, and these two, they just are completely in sync. I love it. Yeah, I stole those coins. Can't believe you bought that old story. <laughs> they underestimated you, Randy, just as they underestimated Raymond Holt. Well, you guys haven't been that great to me either. Well, you gotta teach people how you wanna be treated, Randy, Dr. Phil, RIP. The point is Captain Holt solved the case when no one else could. He's actually been stealing from these archives for years. You've been asleep at the wheel, Alistair. You're an embarrassment. Really? Well, at least I've never confused St. Augustine with Boethius. Oh, who gives a rat's ass about Boethius, Wesley? What are you doing, Kevin? I'm creating a kerfuffle. Oh, damn. Sure, my husband is a hot piece of ass. But he is so much more than just that. Raymond Holt is as smart as anyone in this department, but he chooses to use his intelligence to make our city a better place. One day, I hope to live up to the standard you set. You make me want to have a wetter brain. Oh, Kevin. Y'all are hella specific. Y'all are hella specific, oh my gosh. Do you stand up for your partner? When people criticize them, when people attack them, be it family or friends or colleagues, a lot of us like to think that we would, but do you? So often in therapy, I meet with couples where one person's complaint is they don't stand up for me. And even if you don't side with your partner or agree with them on everything, you can still stand up for them, stand up for their character, stand up for their honor, show people that they're not alone. When you side with your parents, when you side with your siblings, when you side with your friends over your partner, it drives a wedge between you. Follow Kevin's example. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope we here at Men of Light have helped you to have a wetter brain. What do you think of Captain Holt and Kevin's relationship? Let us know in the comments below. What other couple should I break down and therapize here on Men of Light? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep shining because we need your light. <laughs>